Hello, back again. This time I'm going to show you how to set up a DNLA server in Open Media Vault on a Raspberry Pi. Because if, like me, I've got a uh, Panasonic TV and it won't show up Samba shares if you ever want to play your movies. So I'll show you how to set it up. So first things first, open up Open Media Vault, which is the IP address. Uh, login. It's quite easy to do. It's uh, just a plugin. So on the left hand panel here, if you look down, you've got plugins. So click on there, let the page load. If you scroll down about halfway, you should find it. Uh, where are you? Uh, I've got to find it myself now. Uh, da -da -da -da. It's quite a few other plugins you ever want to uh, try other things. I think there's a Torrent plugin. Oh, there's quite a few different things you can install. Uh, where are you? Uh, SharePoint. Oh, there it is. The one you want is Open Media Vault Mini DLNA. That one there. So if you tick the box on the left, and then up the top here, you've got Install. So just click there, and then Yes. Doesn't take too long to install. And that bit's done. So we can just close that window. And then OK, because it wants to do a reload. You'll see here on the main page, you've got mini DLNA now. So the thing you wanna to do to set it up is scroll down on the left hand side and under services, you'll see the DLNA because you wanna set up the shared folders. So if you click on there and enable and save, and then apply on the top there and then yes right the thing we got to do now we've got to set up the shares so if you're not too sure about this or how to set up open media vault just watch my earlier video so on the tabs up the top here we've got shares let's so click there and now we need to add the folders which got sh uh, shared on your external drive so if I click add on the top here you've got the arrow for the drop down should be two folders there which there is one's movies and one's TV so I'm going to select movies first and then click save and then just apply up the top there and then yes Right, that's the first one done. Now I want to uh, add the other folder, uh, which is my TV rips. So on the arrow again, and this time I'm going to select TV and then save. And then apply up the top there on the right. And then yes. And uh, that's everything done now in Open Media Vault. You don't need to change anything else. So the thing I'll do now is uh, swap over to my TV and I can uh, show you it running and uh, watch a few of my movies and uh, TV. Right, you've got the uh, DNLA server set up on the uh, Pi using uh, Open Media Vault. I'll just show you it working on my uh, Panasonic TV. So if I go into Apps, go into media server at the top one is a uh, my cloud a wd my cloud which has got all my music on it next one is a pi core player which is uh, my network music player and the mini dlna is what you just set up so i'll go into that click ok uh, browse folders i'll go into my tv 
Uh, what we got here? Uh, Asian Provocateur, Series 1. These are TV rips from the BBC. I'll just go back, find uh, Saos. Got some uh, Blu-ray rips as well, which are MKVs. I've got a whole series of friends, so let's pick a random one. Oh, I did convert these to MB4. It must be me uh, Battlestar Galactica's uh, MKVs. So uh, episode four. Go back and um, back again. I'm going to be Battlestar Galacticas because uh, these are MKVs. Try season three, yeah, MKVs. Click play. These are Blu ray rips. Go back. I go into my movies folder. Uh, what have we got in here? Did do Sentinel Jackass. Just find the uh, Blu-ray rips I've got in here. Uh, I know uh, Escape from New York's a Blu-ray rip. That plays fun. What else have I got in here? Uh, paycheck. June Chronicles of Riddick. And as you can see, it's quite um, you can quite fast going through all the different movies. There's no lag or anything. Uh, Robocop is a Blu-ray rip. Yeah, I'm sure I bought it on Blu-ray. So as always, I uh, hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye.